everybody, welcome back. It's Lisa with Junk Journal Gems. I was just getting ready to do a little crafting time as a little downtime after the Thanksgiving holiday and wanted to turn the camera on because I'm gonna try something a little bit new or something that a lot of folks have been doing with a bit of a twist. So today I'm playing with um, a kit from Sweet Pea Curiosities. It's um, Mar Marissa's um, ticket kit. And in the kit are not only some tickets, ticket tickets, what I tend to think of as tickets that we'll play with um, in a minute here, but um, see there's all these kinds I have separated. Did a little fussy cutting yesterday, but I printed some of them again on vellum. I'm on my vellum kick. And remember when we made, I have it on my desk here, hold on. Oh, now they went flying. Remember when we made these transparent strips, washi strips? Well, we're gonna do it a little different because these, you start off with either a clear or a transparent um, white, either tracing paper, I've seen people use vellum, that kind of thing, and you collage and stamp on it. This time we're gonna do something in a bit of a reverse technique. So this time around, the background has the pattern, and we're gonna do a little light building on top of that. So I pulled out my little um, doily snippets that I get from Donna Little. And these are fabulous to play with. They are so much fun. I'm gonna get my scissors out here. And we're just gonna use some of these and build on them using them. I see a flat back curl that's been floating around on my desk forever. We might use that. And I have all sorts of buttons here next to me for us to use as well. But I'm just gonna take little snippets of these doily pieces and have a play with them. Just for something a little bit different. Plus, I'm going to be working on a different journal, I think, next month that these hopefully will go well in. In, on whatever. So I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday that you were able to spend some good time with your family and friends, those who are meaningful in your life. We spent it with my mom and my brother and our youngest son. And as always, it was super enjoyable. I did the cooking, it was at our house. And had some football on, ate and laughed, and it was a lot of fun. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting some of these down and I'm gonna pull out buried down in here are these little spidery ones. Sorry for the crinkle. <laughs> Those are so much fun. My husband was out today getting trimming out some um, trees and brush and getting things cleared up for spring down by the lake and Ooh, a little icky sticky wicky. I'm wondering about putting a flat back pearl sticking to my finger. Like right here. Yep. See when the when the back has the pattern, it doesn't take much at all to just give it a little frou-frou. You can use all kinds of things, not just doily pieces or little tiny doilies, 
but you could use flowers, paper flowers. You could use, um, which we can, whoops, use some of my mini labels here from gifts and things. These would be fun too. I also have, where did I put those? Some other labels from Marissa at Sweet Pea Curiosities. I have so much stuff in this ephemera folder that I need to organize a bit better. It's a bit of a calamity. Not a bit of a calamity. It's a lot of a calamity right now. It's a disaster. No. I'm not going to fish around too much. Ain't got time. I'm crafting here. Somebody else, I can hear another um, chainsaw outside. Somebody else must be doing what my husband was. See, that just gives it a little dimension. Ooh. And then I'm going to grab a little tiny button here. That'll be cute. the shiny on it. Um, what else do I want to use here? There's so much goodness, I don't know what to pick or what not to pick. That was a little big, although, me, not feeling him. I also have these, what's in here? More of those little bits that we're using. More teeny tiny doilies. You could cut them up too for little doily bits. There's a little teeny tiny one. Yeah, I haven't been on to make a video now for a while because I was getting ready for Thanksgiving and then had Thanksgiving. And, and yesterday I was doing, working on my um, lace organization. I'll admit, I'm getting a little tired of that project. <laughs> I might have bit off more than I really wanted to do. But it's going to be nice when it's done. It's kind of the, maybe my eyes were too big for my stomach kind of thing. But I'm making like these spools out of cereal boxes or food packaging and then covering them with um, scrapbook paper that I've just not really been using. So it's just putsy, you know. It's putsy. I feel like I have some smaller ones. I might need to print these out again. I use them so much. That's a cutie. And I'm not even inking these. Sometimes I would. I'm not this time. I'm not feeling the necessity of it. And you can have things hanging off too. Down here, still looking for some more teeny tiny ones. <clears throat> Pardon me. I kind of 
of gets lost in there, doesn't it? goodness. Maybe if I cut this one down. It's got a wide, wide margin. Yeah. That's what the doctor ordered. So now, I've got to start really getting serious about getting ready for Christmas. And honestly, I've got to give thought to what to serve. Finish up the gift ideas. Once we're done with this month, I'll show you how I use my altered book to do my um, December and Christmas planning. Comes in so handy. I think I want another one of these like that. Yep. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to rename my channel The Messy Crafter. I've got glue all over my fingers doing this. <laughs> there probably is a channel called The Messy Crafter. I know I'm not the only one who we all get messy, messy fingers. And where's another? Um, oh, heavens, I'm trying to put the, there we go. I'm looking for another flat back pearl. Here's one. I love these champagne colored ones. Would you call that champagne colored? I do. Maybe it's not, but what it is to me. Oh, isn't that coming together really pretty? I love the color scheme of like the aged look of it. I'm really liking it. There's another one of these little teeny tiny doilies I think belongs right there. That's what it's telling me. That. Let's see here. Want some more of these, but again, I'm going to cut margins off just a little bit, but we can scale them down enough to make it work a little better. Since moving in our house, I honestly don't know. Where my husband squirreled away all the Christmas decorations. So I want to soon start decorating the house, but <laughs> I have no idea where anything is. Nothing. Oh, 
You want to put like a little button in there. Let's go for a different color. Ooh. I like this one. It's a little bigger than I want though. I need a teeny tiny. An eeny meeny. It's probably about the same size. Wanted to push back the embroidery a little bit. Embroidery, the crochet trim. Our weather was really pretty good here for Thanksgiving. We had a nice sunny day, no snow. We didn't have to worry about people traveling on bad roads. I remember as a kid sometimes going up to my grandma's house for the holidays and the roads would be so bad and we'd be kind of white knuckling it. There's a little square button that might be kind of cute on there. Yep. This is this is so much fun. Okay, so you you get the idea of it though. I mean, there's certainly nothing difficult. Just get out your your labels or your numbers or words, whatever you've got. And little doily pieces you could even, let's see. I've got this bag of old lace, laces, and things. What's in here? All kinds of stuff that I haven't organized quite yet, but there's little pieces in here that could be used too that if you get a piece of lace, you can just cut off a little snip like that and use it. So, kind of like the string on it, too. I'm going to put this one down on the corner down here. It's just such a relaxing, fun thing to do. And then you've got it available in your stash for when you're going to make something. So sometimes after I've made a big journal and I'm a little brain fried or something from it, then I will um, work on some ephemera pieces or snippets and things just to kind of still have fun and playing around. And that usually starts getting my bigger thought processes going on the next journal that I want to do. Oh gosh, I love this, you guys. And then you can just, you can use a whole bunch of it. <clears throat> or what I plan to do is just snipping off little sections to use at a time. And then I'll just have them at the ready. That was a little <clears throat> Pardon me. So now like this one, I'm going to try something else. Well, I'm just going to try to hang it off the strip a little bit. You can use them on the edge of a page. You can use them uh, as an embellishment on a pocket or an envelope or on a tag. So terrific to have. And they're just addicting to make. 
This whole, I believe this whole concept came from Rachel at Roxy Creations. And I say thank you, Rachel, because this is so much fun. But I think I'll leave this one for now. You get the idea of what you can do and just have a play with it. Get out your stuff and put things down. All right, so I'm going <laughs> to push some things out of the way now that I've made a mess just with that. But the next thing I'm going to do is I want to make some a pocket just collaging with the tickets from Sweet Pea Curiosities. I wanted to see what that would look like. So I've never done this before. Someone else probably has. Um, I've never seen anybody do it. Doesn't mean it hasn't been done. But I just wanted to see how that would turn out. Hard. Okay. Then I want to cut it down a bit to the size I want for the pocket, and I just want to cut off this raggedy edge here. And then it's a little high. This side isn't even. It's a little high for um, a pocket. You could make two small tags from it, but I don't think this edge is even. In fact, I know it isn't. There we go. And then, let's see, I think I'll cut such a visual person. So it'd be like that. Okay. Now we'll get out our little tickets. We'll do some collaging just with the tickets. <clears throat> Maybe I'm gonna use a glue page on top of my glue paper so I don't get all sticky. to do is kind of alternate colors there and that just makes a an interesting and different background. Um, let's try some of these other little guys. Oh, that's fun, isn't it? Can you guys see that? Yeah. <clears throat> Pardon me. Nope. Too much the same color. I need a different color. Like that. But I want a little. Hmm. It's about the 
same size. There we go. Well, it's kind of sad, but that's just being a selfish mom, but um, our youngest son, I was hoping that he'd be home like the whole weekend, <laughs> being the mom that I am. But he went back to the town that we moved from so he could help out with a wrestling practice at the high school. And then he's going to go back. And then he's hanging out with some of his friends from there, which is terrific that the kids are seeing each other again. And then... Um, He's going to go back to school to get homework done. Wah, wah, wah. And I know they have a wrestling practice on Sunday anyway. So. He's got to do what he's got to do, I guess. I can't hog him all to myself. <laughs> Although I'd like to. A mom can't help being a mom, right? Let me see here. There, I wanted to pull something with a different color. Let's use this one, but it's got a little white edge. I didn't do the best job fussy cutting. Nibble it stuck right to it. these little skinny minis. That would be a good one for there. What else we got? Ooh, that would be a perfect one for there. We're going to do that one. Then they need a longer one. Are you long enough? Nope. Hmm. Take one of these and then chop it off. That's what we'll do. I just like how this is turning out. I just thought it'd be something different. For the next journal I'm doing. In the next journal I do, I want to have kind of a bit of an industrial vibe to it. There. Oh, that turned out cute. Okay, I'm going to put a divot in it. Divot. Divot, divot, divot. Not that small. In case anybody wanted to know, oh goodness, this is a one and a half inch bunch. And then I need my ink. Age it up a little bit. And this was just using a piece of book page from a um, page block that I pulled out of a book cover that I used. Or were, no, these were the pages from um, 
the altered book we did for Christmas, one of the altered books. So yeah, nothing goes to waste. All right, I think since I have all these little goodies sitting out here already, I'm gonna use some of these to adorn these pages. I could use that, but I have something else in mind. I can find it. Uh, there. I just have a hard time finding something to use these on, and I thought this would be perfect. The edges are a little white, though. That, and I'm going to mix it up a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm still going to use some, what do you call this? Grow grain, grow, grow gain, grow. How do you say it? Something, another ribbon. <laughs> grow. I'm just going to stop while I'm ahead. Grow. I can't stop. I'm going to make it like a banner, kind of, you know, the banner edges. Or that's what I call it. I have no idea if that's what it's actually called. It's what it's called in my world. And then I'm going to glue this behind it. Sorry about that. I had a big glue glob. And you could do this on tags. Be super cute on tags. Anything. Okay. Tuck this kind of behind where that will go. Like a bus. Thusly, as people say. Because this is thicker cardstock and this ribbon is thicker, I'm using the fabric tack. I just feel like that will make it more secure than the art glitter glue. There. So you're getting a feel for the what the next journal will kind of be like, but I'm not gonna tell you yet what we're using for the cover and that kind of stuff. Um, let's use some masculine-ish looking buttons. So, there's a blue one, no, no, no. Ooh, here's one with cloth on it. Need a little contrast, too big. Yep. I think just one. Hmm. I think just one. That was easy. Sometimes it doesn't take much. There. And then I'll have to make a tag to go in that. Really cute. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. All right, so that's our video for today. We were able to make this little snippet strip to be used in our next journal. And then this ticket collaged pocket 
um, a technique that you can use with a lot of different things. Um, you can also adorn this with something like, like this, go the opposite direction. So I thank you for joining me. This was fun to do and I might continue on making a little more. I hope you have a great day.